Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I'm going to do um, an overview and a demo of the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. And these come from Tonic Studios. Um, they're now available here in the US, which is really exciting. And they sent me um, a selection to play with. Um, you might have seen them in some of my other unboxing videos. So I want to take a second and just kind of go over the packaging with you. Okay, so these powders come in this kind of triangular type container. Um, that has the color very clearly named and it's see-through so you can see what color it is on the outside and it also comes in I'm trying to figure out how much oh here it is um, 0.68 fluid ounces of course it's a dry product but that is the container and I will tell you I do like it the little shiny top is super cute not helpful if you're storing things in a drawer because this is what you see so I do highly recommend that you make some swatches and you just glue those swatches on the top um, but one of the things I do like about this product is the packaging because it's very easy to hold in your hand. And if I just take a little piece of paper out here, I will show you. It's very easy to hold on to and then just tap it out like this. Uh -uh, I did not show you that at all. It's very easy, just hold it in your hand and then just tap it until it comes out of the package, um, which I think is really handy. Some of the shimmer powders I've reviewed come in little plastic jars that just really aren't as easy to use. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is the whole line. I think it's still a limited line so far, but the colors that we have to play with today are Atlantis Burst, Blitz Blue, Parade Green, Catherine Wheel, Violet Brocade, and Storm Cloud. So let's take a look at some swatches. So I am gonna speed it up through the swatching process. I like to use uh, a very heavyweight watercolor paper. It's about 120 pounds. I spritz it with some water, then I sprinkle on the product, and then I add a little bit more. I like to see how it moves and flows, um, if you get some freckling. And then also what I'll be doing is kind of brushing at the bottom so you can see what the the base color would be if you separated it out. So there's the blue blitz. This is called Catherine Wheel and it really has that kind of lucky red color with gold flecks in it. It's really, really stunning and there's a little bit of coral in there as well. Um, so I just think it's a really gorgeous color. Then we also have something called Atlantis Burst. And this particular one has a lot of the kind of teals and greens uh, in it as well. And it even has a few little flecks of yellow or chartreuse in there. Another pretty color. Next we have our Violet Brocade. And like a true purple, it is made up of a teal and then also of a red. So if you don't mix it too much, you're going to get kind of like this red, white, and blue theme. And if you do mix it up, you get a really pretty violet color. Um, I'm kind of just showing how much I like the package there in that little part, so disregard it. Uh, and then we also have Storm Cloud. And this has a light gray, a little bit of a brown undertone, and then black, and a navy. And I think this is one of those colors that might be completely underestimated. It's absolutely stunning. Lastly, we're going to end up with our green parade, which has flecks of black, teal, and green. And again, I like it when it's not completely mixed up. I just think that that kind of freckling, mixy-mixy look is what makes a pigment watercolor powder so powerful. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the dry samples. So I can bring them up a little closer. You can see the blue, blue blitz, how it looks when you paint it out the intense color, and then that little blue halo of shimmer. You've got the green parade, where you've got this intense, intense black and green. And the green shimmer. It is a little, uh, not quite pibio painty, but still pretty cool. Here's the storm cloud, which has like a smoke gray and a navy blue in it. Really, um, I think this is one of those ones where people are like, oh, I don't need black. I'm like, no, really, you need to get this one because this is just so much cooler than you think already. Um, here's our Atlantis Blue. I'm sorry, Atlantis Burst, which has the green and the yellow and the blue and then the kind of greenest blue shimmer. Super pretty. Catherine Wheel which has that beautiful lucky red magenta and then the yellow in it. Super, super pretty. 
I really hope they have a yellow one. Am I missing one? Oh yeah, here it is. And here's your violet, guys. Look at that violet brocade with all of its blue and red goodness and then that light lilac shimmer on top. But again, very, very intense color. So just because these are so fascinating to watch, I thought you might enjoy seeing them kind of in action. And once again, I'm using a heavyweight watercolor paper. This is Fabriano. And I'm really saturating the paper with water. You can see here in this like little baby slow-mo piece just how much water there is on there. So for that reason, I do not recommend using these with any normal weight cardstock. Make sure that you're at 110 or higher. Um, but as you sprinkle, you can watch them move and flow. You can actually see the shimmery bits floating on top and really this is one of the things that's mesmerizing about using this product is that you can actually watch it move and flow as you're using it. It's a very um, kind of exciting sensory experience to play with it and of course then when you're done you've got some beautiful multicolored papers that you can use in card making, mixed media, you can draw on top of it. Now it is a water-based media which means that if you ever want to go back over again with water it will um, start to reactivate and flow. So for that reason I recommend that if you're going to do something over top with it make sure that you seal it um, with a spray sealer and you know don't work uh, with another heavy wet media over top. Also because this is a watercolor product you can go ahead and use some of your cool tricks with watercolor paints like um, using salt or bubble wrap or saran wrap to create more textured effects. But anyway I thought I would just show you a little bit of this and next I'm going to show you some of the cards I made. So here I stamped on top of the Nouveau Shimmer. And as you can see, the shimmer actually came through the stamping, which is really awesome. Great for those kind of seaside effects with this Hero Art stamp. And then here with this Origami World, I just love it. Um, my congrats card turned out pretty cute. This is using a Nouveau set, and I believe this one is Concord in ninth. So as you can see, you can use all of your stuff and mix and match with these Nouveau Shimmers because they just give this wonderful painter really gorgeous effect. So I hope you learned something about Nouveau Shimmer Powders and are inspired to try them. If you do, please use my affiliate link in the description and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and have a crafty day.